Okay, so here is the tier 3 bosses guide for the Queen's Gauntlet. The first boss we're going to run into is Subject 7, and he, basically every time you hit him, he's going to spit out new oozes, and those oozes actually heal him. So it pretty much turns into a DPS race, where you're trying to out-DPS the healing that he's getting. And it's pretty much as simple as that, just don't focus on the oozes that are coming out, and try to put in as much damage as possible you can as you can into Subject 7. And uh, he'll eventually go down. So you're gonna want to bring, um, you're gonna want to bring a very heavy DPS class. But also remember that as the fight goes on, you're gonna be taking more and more damage. As you can see, my HP is pretty low right now. Now we are on to the second boss in tier three, and this is Deadeye Dunwell. Now you can see all the mines around the room, and if you hit those, you're gonna blow up. Dun uh, Deadeye Dunwell basically has two abilities. He'll teleport around the room. And he will use what's called like a kill shot from uh, if you ever fought against a rifle warrior or if you played a rifle warrior, that's their burst ability on their rifle. And it does massive amounts of damage. Uh, so you have you absolutely have to dodge it. When you see that little circle around you, that means he's aiming for you. And if you wait maybe one or two seconds, just count to two and then dodge, uh, then he'll miss. You'll evade the attack. As you can see, I just did there. Just remember not to dodge into the mines. I suggest also bringing a ranged weapon for this fight. Okay, so now we are on to Strugar and Chomper. This is the third boss in Tier 3. Now, the most important thing to remember is that randomly, Strugar will throw out food, as we'll see here in a second. And Chomper is going to go eat that. So you need to go and eat that meat hunk before Chomper does. Because Chomper will become so much stronger if he eats those meat hunks. Now, you don't have to eat every single one, but I like to at least be... Ahead or even uh, with the stacks of meat that I've eaten compared to Chomper. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot more damage uh, because I have that meat on. So what I like to do is I just kill Strugar first. I mean, I have a little bit of AoE, so they're both going down. Now, when Chomper evolves after you kill Strugar, the one thing you have to watch out for is his leap right there. If he hits you with that, then you are pretty much dead. Alrighty, so we're on to Liadri, the last boss in the Queen's Gauntlet. Now, there are quite a few things to discuss. There are two stages. This is the first stage. The first thing to talk about is this Cosmic Rift. These will appear every once in a while trying to pull you. And they'll pull you across the room and it's very dangerous because sometimes they could pull you where you absolutely don't want to be. You see those reticules on the ground that uh, Liadri is putting down? If you are standing on those when they go off, when the black things drop, then you are dead. So you want to bring some blocks and some. Uh, make sure you have some a good endurance regen or things like Endure Pain where uh, the, that damage isn't going to kill you. Now these visions walking around, what you want to do is get these visions in these white little portals. Then they'll drop an orb of blazing light. Once you hit Liadri three times with those orbs, then we'll go into second stage. And if those visions hit you even once, then it's an automatic death. So pretty much everything in here is an automatic death. Now that I hit Liadri three times with that blazing light, uh, she goes into her second stage. Where there's going to be a lot more reticules on the ground. And if you can see, it's an hourglass uh, kind of symbol. It goes from north to south, then east to west, and it keeps switching. So what you want to do is you want to keep running around the room and staying in these little safe pockets. Now, the biggest risks for you here are Liadri's leap, like she did right there, and she'll cripple you, making it much more difficult to run around the room. And the cosmic rifts are also appearing. Now you can see here, I actually, uh, I'm actually running a little low on endurance, and I'm actually, I feel like I'm kind of screwed right now. And I actually go down, but luckily one of the visions wa uh, walked into a portal and uh, saved my life. So I'm able to keep fighting. I would recommend in this fight you bring a good amount of condition cleanse to get those cripples off of you. And something where you can kite around and do damage from range. It just makes it so much easier. Like a necromancer uh, with a scepter or a longbow, ra uh, longbow warrior. All of those are, are very good choices against Liadri. Well, that covers it for all three tiers of the bosses. Now, if you have any questions for a specific boss that you didn't quite understand, then let me know in the comments below, and I will be sure to help you out.